Hey, what a party! Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. hey, hey, hey. 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 hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's We're just making noises. Yeah, it's just gonna be bird calls. Is what this show's gonna end up being. <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, hi. How are you, dude? You good? Very. Yeah, I'm good. Very tired. Hard time getting to sleep, but. Oof. I woke up and realized in Florida, even, you do need to turn the heat on sometimes, which we didn't do. It's fucking 43 degrees outside. <laughs> so, oh, man. Very cold. Very cold. Yeah. Are you yeah right? How are you doing? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. It's also early. So if you think I have an old man filter on my face, <laughs> I don't. I just am that old. Here's the thing about getting up early for work. It's uh, it's always day two that messes you up because everyone's like, oh, dude, you got to get up early. But the first day, you're like jazzed. You're like, I got to get up early. Got to get up early. Got to get up early. And you do. But by the yeah. second day, you're like, fuck this. This is awful. Why did I do oh, this? You know what I mean? That's when it right. catches up to you. Same thing with not sleeping. Like, you ever lay awake the whole night? I, it's never a big deal yeah. that day. Like, you can get, you can get through the day, but... The next three days, you're just fucked up. <laughs> you'll be ti- you'll be tired for a week because of the one night. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, absolutely. Do they say like uh, that's the quickest way to kill yourself? Actually, it's not. Definitely not the quickest way. There's much quicker I can ways. Think of a couple others, but yeah. <laughs> but it's like the the thing that takes years off your life the fastest is yeah. sleep deprivation. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever heard this one too? That if you stopped right now. Eating, drinking, and sleeping, that the first thing to kill you would be the lack of sleep. That's what I heard. I now, didn't hear that be before, but total you know bullshit. What? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I, mean, I mean, I feel like I have a hard time go, believing that. Yeah. You can't go without liquid for like three days, right? I mean, that's. Yeah, that's what you hear. By uh, day food three, it's just out of the question. You yeah. cannot eat. You your, can just not eat. Fine. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, bro, you, nobody needs to eat as much as they eat, except for those kids <laughs> that really need to eat. I mean, they really need to eat. But like most, let's just take Americans. Most Americans, they uh, like I had cereal already this morning. I've been up for ten minutes. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just eating. That's just what we that. do. Just eating. Yeah. No, you know, and oh, it's like sugar bread. And my shirt today is a donut company, you know, like <laughs> it's just, it's too much. It's too much. All right. Well, Hey, welcome to the show. I am sparks that over there is Pike. You can see him on all social media at Pike Taylor radio. And then I am on all social media as well at sparks radio. So hit us up. My God, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to get to the news that matters. What else we got on the docket today? I, I I think we got a lot. I got two rectum riddles because one was a little depressing. So if you want the second rectum riddle, Pike, we could do two today. Um, the okay. first one, I like the rhyme. I don't like the story. So I was like, ah, maybe we should do two. So we got two rectum riddles if you want to do it. We got the news that matters. And then, of course, Pike, I don't know if you got this, but... Uh, I got some intros in, bro, from yesterday's show. We were, or no, outros. We're asking for the outros, the show ender. Yeah. How do we end this goddamn thing that we call this show every single day? Did you get any yes, in or sir. no? I got, I got one. Yes. I don't know if we can use it. <laughs> <laughs> but I got one. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> well, I just said <laughs> a questionable term, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say we could use it. I gotta uh, know what this but, term is. Yeah, I mean, we we can play it and then <laughs> openly <laughs> shame the term. It's gotta be cunt. I mean, there's no other word that would no. I'd say oh, that could no. Play. No, this is worse. Oh, ooh, I don't want to play it. Yeah. <laughs> there's some worse words than that. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk want, about it. I don't want. Yeah, I don't want any. Okay, I don't want to be associated with any of that. All right, so. <laughs> We're going to be playing some outros uh, here on the show. By all means, if you're watching live over on YouTube, we do this show live every day at 8 a.m., by the way, Eastern. So if you're live and you want to jump in, 
hit it up in the uh, in the chat there on the YouTube video. You're, you'll see your your comments pop across the screen. We call you the committee. So look, if you're a committee member, jump in, chime in. We got some videos for the outro from the committee. I absolutely love the participation, so by all means, please do that. And then while you're there over on YouTube.com slash Sparks Radio, hit the subscribe button, would you? Hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up. And if you're listening to this show and you're not watching this damn thing live, get on over to the YouTube, hit subscribe, tell a friend, and uh, we really appreciate it. Right, Jesus? Jesus, Thank you very much. I got to keep working that in. Yeah, we got to do you that. You should. You know, we've asked, we've asked, and by the way, I finished the intro. The intro is done. I cannot wait. Uh, tomorrow on the show, we will debut the intro here of the Spark Show. And I don't want to build it up because I don't know if I like it. <laughs> it worked. What? <laughs> What's not to like? I've put in so many hours. I haven't like, seen my children. I don't know After Effects. <laughs> so it's like, you know, what would take an After Effects expert probably... 20 minutes to make this intro took me three days or something like that. Like nonstop. <laughs> Dude, I got in this room, the global headquarters, the GH. I got in here uh, at 7 a.m. yesterday. We did the show. I didn't leave the room except for to take a deuce and to eat dinner until midnight last man? night. Yeah. God, you make me feel bad. Don't That's feel bad. That's a lot of work for a one. Don't, I'm not don't, doing that much work. Uh, so you, it's you got a job. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I still don't think I'm doing that much work. <laughs> uh, You're busting I'll, your balls. Yeah, well, I'll tell you more about it tomorrow when we debut the intro. Hopefully, you will like it. And then now we have to get to the outros of the show. Now, Colin, we call him the committee chair because I think he's... He's the most involved human being we have. So he's he's got the committee chair. He sent in three outro videos here for us. Uh, I only picked two because I thought three was just egregious. You know, I just thought. Yeah, Colin, you're getting a little hasty, aren't you, Jason? Uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> three. <laughs> what? Uh, all right, here we go. Colin's outro. Just we're not we're gonna put these up to a vote. Okay, we're going to give it one more day. Let's give it one more day. So if you got an outro after you hear these, send them in at Pike Taylor Radio on all social media, or you can send it to me at Sparks Radio on all social media as well. Here we go. Here's Collins first, I guess. You just got done watching the Sparks show with Sparks and Pike. Go do something productive now. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Cute. Yeah, I like it. I mean, really? I like it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Call the number two. And it's over. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now he's starting to get it. I think that's that's more like it. That's what I'm picturing. <laughs> and it's over. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's just the right amount of silly. Uh, it's got to be somewhat silly, yeah. you know? Yeah. Here is... Yeah. Pizza. Pizza sent in an outro, so shout out to the pizza. Here is his. I wonder if I, can I put it here like this? Oh no. All right. Hold on. Hold I don't on. know if you sent I don't know if he sent you the same one, because his is the one I was talking about. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Have you listened to it yet? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. Well maybe maybe you're just not as woke as I am. What does he say? I don't even remember. I, I I just it was like midnight last night. I was putting these in. Uh, he just says uh, he says the F T word. It's half really? of the uh, term for people with uh, developmental disabilities. Yeah, it's just not, uh, it's not F T. I don't it's even not, know what you're talking about. He uh, calls us fuck. Oh, blanks. Yeah. all right. Let's play it and see because yeah, let's just see. Hey. The show's over, fucktards. That's what I'm Let's watch about. some porn together. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shut the taco okay. in his mouth. <laughs> energy drink. <laughs> uh, taco and energy yeah. drink. <laughs> I mean, no. See what I mean? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that uh, word, but I didn't find that offensive. 
You know what I mean? Like, I, oh, I don't... Are you disabled? No, 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 no. Uh, but I, I don't know. I made a distinction. But now, now that you point it out, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I just, you know, it's just like a blanket don't like the word, right? So, eh. Cool by me. He's using it. He's using it to insult somebody. You know? So, I don't... Listen, this is not the place for me to be... This is a, uh, dude, a, you can a say, Jehovah's your Witness here. You're not yeah, a Jehovah's Witness. If, you, if you're like, hey, man, I don't like using that. All right, good. No worries. No, I don't I'm like... Not, I, do, I, do, I don't. Oh, there you go. No problem for I me. Don't. Get the fuck out of here, but pizza. I, Way to mess to it be, up, dude. <laughs> Way to ruin it. All right? You, you blew it. But I do like the, the charm of the rest of the video is great. Uh, just kind of, He lost me for that one. Yeah, <laughs> one. you soured it, man. Yeah. You Even soured it. fuck was fine. It was the other half. It was the other part. It was the other half of the word. It's all right. Pizza. Yeah. Pizza's gonna come back. He's gonna buy another taco, and he's gonna come back and say something. Uh, uh, that that is uh, uh, here. Honestly, it. And I've said this before. Those that is the one group of uh, of people that I do not like. I don't make fun of because I I feel it's unfair only because they cannot defend themselves. You know, they are yeah. not capable yeah. of uh, of any kind of retort. So no, I agree. Exactly. With you. Let's go back to the silly. This one came in from Donna. Donna sent in a couple of them. Although I'm only seeing one here. So I'll have to go get the other one, Donna. Here's one. Hope you enjoyed listening to these asses. I'm going to go take a shit now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah, uh, yes. It's a uh, it's a donkey with uh, human lips, and uh, there you have it. One more time. Oh. Hope you enjoyed listening to these asses. I'm gonna go take a shit now. Okay. So thank you very much, D Donna, for sending that in. Let me get the other Donna uh, video in here. Let me just make this uh, look okay. All right, here's uh, Donna number two. Well, that's time in my life that I'll never get back. You guys can come out. The podcast is finally over. <laughs> All right, so there you go. <laughs> Donna part two. She's good. Yeah, pretty good. I like her uh, her candor there. It's just, you know, just so unimpressed. So unimpressed. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. There's an art to this, and she's getting it. Let me say this, doing though. It. Here's my favorite, okay? This is my favorite one. Without a doubt, this one should win, in my opinion. Now, the committee is an independent body. The committee is, uh, you have your own brain. You got your own mind. You don't need me to sway your vote. And whatever you vote for, that's what's going to get it, okay? I don't, I don't fuck with the committee votes. So, if you don't think that this is good, well, then shame on me, okay? And you vote for another one. But let me just say... The Vato is back. The Vato has no. sent in another video. And this is yes. my favorite one. All right, here it is. The Vato for an outro. Look at that. Show's over. Peace out, fuckers. Okay, there you go. What is this? It, it's perfect. It looks, looks like a whole different person. It does? I don't know. I've only seen him now twice. So I, it's just... He's just shaved. Uh, here he is when he was high. Yo, what up, fucker? Okay. <laughs> shaved, that's what it is, yeah. Here he is in line for the bank, apparently. Look at that. Show's over. Peace out, fuckers. <laughs> All right, so there you go. I love it. <laughs> it is absolutely the best outro, I, in my opinion. But again, we're going to put it up to a vote. So if you're watching, you're listening, whatever you're doing, send in an outro. Just film yourself, send it over to at Pike Taylor Radio on all social media. You can send it to me at Sparks Radio on all social media as well. And then uh, we'll play them on the show tomorrow. And then we'll put it up to a vote, man. Sounds like a plan. That's a good group. I think they did good. So far, there's some real bangers in there, except for the whole fucking mm -hmm. pizza part. Ooh, ooh, pizza. Ooh, and no, you know what? It, he's probably listening to this going, you fucker, you messaged me back and said, ah, ha, ha, perfect, which I did. <laughs> I did say perfect. <laughs> I didn't mean it, though. <laughs> I mean, everything but 
Because <laughs> I wasn't going to get into the whole thing over a message of, with pizza. Yeah. yeah, I totally understand. All right, let's get to the news that matters. Yes, this is the news that matters. Yes, this is the news that matters. Holy shit. This is the part where we like to talk about the news that matters, if you couldn't already tell. And I cannot believe, cannot believe what sports, quote unquote, they're letting into the Olympics now. Did you hear what they have just approved for the Paris games in 2024? Did I hear? Yeah, it's my first fucking story, <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Jesus. I knew what? chances uh dude okay what, what go ahead you just do it take it please no man yeah i, I mean i obviously you probably feel it's as stupid as i do break dancing is it break, break dancing, dancing. <laughs> oh they've added like a a few of them but the headline is break dancing because that's the dumbest of the crop listen who the fuck is break dancing like perfect <laughs> i mean maybe i don't want to sound ignorant like oh. pizza with <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> and you know why this makes me so mad, more mad than most people is because uh, you might remember a few years back, I, it might've been two Olympics ago, they tried to get rid of the original sport, the first sport ever wrestling, which is an actual sport that's practiced by people all over the world. Yeah. They tried to get rid of it. Now it got reinstated. Thank God because of an uproar of wrestling fans but now they want to fucking they put, put this shit in there and don't even get me started on the one where they're skiing and shooting guns simultaneously okay first of all that is what that's fucking awesome okay and if you've ever watched james bond which i know you haven't that plays a that's an integral role in james bond and james bond movie what? how dare you it is <laughs> that's not kidding. in the plot okay <laughs> yeah well now i'm not gonna watch the movie uh, you should. I thought, I go I thought out, he was cool. I go out cross-country skiing with rifle and shoot targets all the time. Is that right? I don't know, dude. That's this that's a, a badass sport, okay? When you got a gun on your back and you're skiing around and you stop, pop, and ski. Oh, my God. It's, it's awesome. Are you kidding me? But is it cooler than two guys grappling <laughs> out <laughs> Outwilling each other to the mat? I don't uh, think so. Yeah, I do think so. I look, okay. here's look, I obviously wrestling is a sport. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's not. However, I have a problem with any Olympic sport that's based on judges. All right, I don't like that. I don't like the judging part. Olympics no. are for clear winners and clear losers. How many points right. did you get? How fast did you do something? What place did you finish in? Okay, not leave it up to some guy who just because, you know, he's on keto and he's craving sugar, so he's in a bad mood in the morning, you're going to end up losing a gold medal? What are you doing? Yeah. That's not That's right. so dumb. Either judge some of them or judge them all. Like, running events from now on should just be judged. Like, it's not... It doesn't really matter what place yeah. you got. They're just going to jump. They just give you a score. Yeah, like exactly. Well ran. Yeah. The guy with no legs wins every time, no matter what. Be like, bro, he's got <laughs> he's got blades. Come on. He's got blades on his feet, dude. He's, he's a real winner in life here. All right? You lost to a guy with no feet. You're a runner. By the way, how did oh, they man. let that guy in to the normal Olympics? I felt like that was cheating. Like, oh, was, can, uh, can we all just put fake calf muscles on now? sprint around right you know that don't get tired ever just infinite you know yeah but how about that guy getting all that attention and then killing his wife yeah his that's girlfriend. a real shame yeah yeah i know boy you're a real what downer are the today pike you're just like hey let's take a fun thing and just kill it how about that <clears throat> it could be, it could let's be, take we can have some fun with the story david petraeus how about his no feet right yeah yeah, yeah. and also he's a murderer <laughs> <laughs> or is he? He denies it. I mean, well, he, he got he, off, right? Didn't he get away with it? I think he did. Yeah. Do you remember his defense? That he he and his girlfriend were in a fight, and she was in the bathroom, and he fired like six shots blindly into the bathroom because he claims he thought it was an intruder. Yeah. 
even yeah. though he probably saw her run into the bathroom. Yeah, hiding. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a you real go... b- uh, bitch way to shoot someone too. So you don't have to see him. You shoot him through the door. Like I know that's not right. Yeah, you don't want <laughs> fuck yeah. that guy and his fake legs. You know, you're disparaging people with fake legs all over the world. There's some people that work really hard, really hard, no and they have legs. <laughs> <laughs> legs, no legs, one leg. I mean, you were a hero to many, and you blew it. You blew it, Dick. Now, here's what Oscar. I really want to see. Kind of... I, I want to see a break dancer with no legs just crush everyone in the Olympics. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Like a, you did just like a top, you know, like a spinning <laughs> top. <laughs> right. Just going to town. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, no legs break dancers got an advantage. Or if they just have like the the below the knees gone, they have an advantage yeah. over the other break dancers. You know what I mean? They got less flying in the way, right? Or maybe that helps with momentum. I don't know. Having longer just, you know, it kind of makes you a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like it's got to be harder to like move those hands out of the way for your, uh, you know, your legs are flailing around. You could just sit there and. Cut off your legs, and that's kind of like a performance-enhancing drug. You know what I mean? What if so, what if someone's like really serious about getting gold medal, the first gold medalist in breakdancing, and they have no legs? And they decide Would right you now. Cut your legs off for a gold medal, dude. I'd cut my glory? legs off. Look, uh, if you lost a leg or a limb, I'm sorry, it sucks. But if I'm gonna lose a limb, I might as well lose a foot or a leg, anything lower extremity. Take it, really. Yeah. Dude, your hands you are the most hand? important. No! Well, yeah, but you could get by with one. What are you talking about? Yeah. If you just had one hand and the other was just the nub, like, you can still kind of grip. No? You, you can carry a box. Get rid of my feet! Take my legs! They're gone! You kidding me? You got an Olympian competing with the fastest people in the world with no shins. I'm sorry. We've got foot technology down, okay? We've got leg technology. <laughs> I can be short one day, tall another day. I can, you can just yeah, extend, nice. you know, whatever. Oh, I'm going to a concert tonight. Better put on my extendo legs and then just, you know, <laughs> screw those suckers in. <laughs> extendo legs. You kidding me? Legs, oh, take them. Gone. I, I look at my legs now. Dude, I barely even wash my feet. I just kick my foot in the bottom of the bathtub. I don't care about these things. You know, point. they get cold. I got to buy socks. Imagine how much you could save on shoes. You still got to wear shoes, don't you? I don't think so. I guess. But think about how fast, how much faster that guy would have been if he had no legs, but no hands. <laughs> Probably pretty fast. Because as far as I know, hands do not influence how fast you are. Not really, anyway. I kind of do this thing where I scoop air. And I think that <laughs> gives me a, a little speed. But it can't be much. You know? <laughs> You're like pulling yourself towards your intended yeah. target. Yeah. Ah. No. <laughs> oh, did you hit hand your hand? Oh. Yeah, and it did one of those things where the skin like peeled off. Oh, man. All right, let it me just go. hurts for a just hurts for a second and you're pissed off and you just want to throw something did you read the same article <sighs> about the uh, break dancers we could from the point of view as the person who's been lobbying for squash to get in the olympics and they keep oh, saying really? no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they keep saying what? no to squash and this this lady who's been lobbying for squash for years for like decades multiple <laughs> olympics to get into the olympics they keep going no, and they put breakdancing in before squash, like an actual game. Well, I don't know what squash is. Neither do I, but I know lady. it's a game. Come on. Yeah. She knows that this is her only chance to do anything with her life. I got I got to respect. She's desperately trying to make that happen. Good yeah. Her. Well, now she's given up, she said. She's done lobbying for squash. I don't know. What she... She's just ready to die or what? She's no, she's just like, up? it's not going to happen. They're going to put breakdancing in before squash. This is not, you know, it's whatever, dude. Yeah. 
You know what else they added was, uh, where'd it go? Skateboarding, sport climbing, and surfing. Three, uh, I don't know what sport climbing is, but I trust it's a normal thing. It's not. I've watched sport climbing. I, it's hard. Don't get me wrong. Just because it's hard doesn't mean it should be in the Olympics. Sport climbing, it's cli- you're climbing a wall. Have you ever seen speed climbing? Have you seen those people? No. Dude, speed climbing. I picture it, though. Pretty badass. Like, it's like, like running up the wall. Yeah, dude. It's unreal. Oh, wow. Cool. And then they have to hit a buzzer. So at least there's a clear winner who got there first, you know? Oh, yeah. That's like that kid show in the 90s. Remember that one? Where those kids are climbing the mountain. They got to get to the top. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Temple of something. Fuck. Oh, I mean, it's an all-time Legends game of the show. Hidden Temple. Thank you. Yes. Got Just it. like that. Yeah. That that entire show should, should be an event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and they were song. way ahead of the time because at the end, they, everybody had to run around the track with their uh, country's flag. So it was like pretty much the Olympics already. That was it. That was it. Oh, dude, what a good what a good show that was. I used to love that show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at this. Hey, before uh, we... Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I'm just going to say I, I would like to note that I have drawn blood during the podcast. Probably the first one to do that. Jeez. Look at that. <laughs> bloody knuckle. Talking with my hands. Got a bloody knuckle. Oh. All right. Anyway. Jesus approves. He approves of your right. sacrifice, Pike. Way to go. <laughs> this Good is... job. <laughs> Let me go to my second story here because uh, apparently we had the same first one. Scientists yeah. and... Uh, who are those people that design buildings? Archie architects. There it is. I almost said archaeologists. Architects have now said, "Hey, man, we're going to be living on Mars. Well, might as well start planning on some buildings." And they're like, "Dude, we've now created a city. Well, designs for a city that can hold up to one million people on the Martian surface, Aww. which is pretty." Pretty incredible, if you if you ask me. And they said, look, because of, you know, the fact that if you go out there without a space helmet, you're going to die. So what we'll end up doing is we'll live inside the rocks. We'll live inside cliffs, burrow some tunnels, and we'll live inside the, the cliff. Like caves. Yeah, here's a picture cave. of... Yeah, we're going to be cave people. Wow. Okay, there you go. This is from the sun, uh, .co.uk. Look, see, we're just popping out of the hole, out of the walls. We're just kind of built in. Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. This is a window. That's what we're living in? <laughs> oh, it is. This is inside. Oh, cool. Is that like a skating rink? They've already <laughs> got like activities planned? <laughs> They've thought of everything. Ah. Uh, Yes, exactly. Hold on a sec. We're getting some. Hold on. It's not Legends of the Hidden Temple. It's, uh, let's see here. Get rid of this nonsense. Uh, hold on. We, we're we uh, super corn freak over on YouTube is thinking, we're thinking of Guts. That's who we're thinking of. Is that right? I know Guts is another one. Let's see. He's saying, oh, uh, yeah. he's yeah. saying the Hidden Temple is the different colors with the Olmec Maze. Yeah, that's right. It's the guy with the face in the whole the fa- the wall talks to kids. Then they they have yeah. to climb inside his brain. You know, like they're walking inside yeah, yeah. the wall's head. Yeah, yeah. And they got team names like uh like purple cobras or yeah. like the r- red monkeys or whatever. But that's right. isn't that a portion of that show like one of the last levels is them climbing that mountain? I think that's what I'm talking about. What was that? Yeah, there was a mountain. It was like a pyramid of like squishy yeah, foam, like, and they would like throw things down. The whole thing. Yeah. Uh, well, super I was thinking freak, it is guts. He is saying the crag is what you're talking about. The crag. Thank yep, you, Super Corn Freak One. Appreciate it. All right. So we're wrong. We're idiots. God, I was so proud of myself thinking legend. But they are very. Two very similar game shows that ran on the same network at the same time. So I don't, I mean, come I don't on. think you're right. I'm not remembering. They had like a, a bungee cord attached to their vest, and they had like 
like launched with a, and they had to dunk a basketball. Yep. Correct. You know, and then uh, yeah. then they had the mountain, but they didn't have to like solve puzzles. No, I I know they're not carbon copies of each other, but they're pretty similar. All right. I don't think they were. I think guts was more like American Gladiators, and then. Legends of the Hidden Temple was more like a Jeopardy. You know? Like, Legends of the Hidden Temple was like, nerds, let's watch nerds exercise. And then Guts was like, let's watch jocks not have to think. You know what I mean? It was like that. I don't get the Jeopardy comparison, but okay. They were asked trivia questions, weren't they? Yeah, but it's so far off. from What is the capital of Peru? I mean, come on. How Jeopardy can you get here? All right. Pour some off roll, Alex Trebek. Hey, back to my, uh, we're going to live in Mars in these tunnels and tubes and stuff. What do you think? You know, that looks pretty. Uh, I personally wouldn't go. And it's nothing against the facilities they've built because they look beautiful. They haven't built you would them consider? yet. But... Uh, no, I wouldn't live on Mars. Are you kidding me? Do I think humans it... need to? Yes. But, uh, I mean, Earth is pretty dope. So I don't want to leave Earth. You know what I mean? Like Earth, yeah, yeah. I know it gets a bad rap, but it's okay. <laughs> it's really, you know. it's really everything that's ever happened has been yeah. here uh, that we know of, basically. And I kind of like <laughs> it. I'm kind of designed for this planet, and I think we should uh, try to keep it as long as we possibly can. You know, uh, at least I, till I die. Yeah, you know. Right. I mean, well, I got kids, so it's different for me because so I got like you know. <laughs> I'm the last one of my breed. Yeah. I don't care. Once I die, it's like, I don't know. You guys, you guys got it from here? Cool. All right. Yeah. I, Dude, you know what, though? In all honesty, uh, I do think that we should be on Mars as a species just to protect our species. I love humans. I think humans are capable of great things, obviously capable of some real shitty things. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, we're kind of it for the higher intelligence you know, we got thumbs. That was a good advantage. And we don't live in the water. So it's pretty sweet. We could go to Mars. Let's do it. Yeah, I want to be like a tier two society. You know what I mean? They call it tier one, tier two, tier three. You know what I mean? If we want to live on other planets, we got we to gotta get there, bro. We should yeah. be doing it already. No doubt. Don't you think whoever invented humans, like, and gave us these thumbs, which is, like, as you said, it's a big deal. You know, that's kind of what separates us. You think people who like thumb each other's asses for fun ever think about that? Ever think about how disrespectful that this is what we uh, we got this great invention and now we're doing this with it? <laughs> you would, huh? A little disrespectful if you think about it. Uh, there's so much to unpack in that statement. <laughs> <laughs> It's happening, you know that. <laughs> that should just be a gif of the show. It should just be Pike just side thumbing. Yeah. <laughs> this old this old move. Huh? Pizza nose. Jesus approves. Oh, thank you. Oh, Jesus approves. All right, what's your second story? We got to get to the rectum riddles coming up here. Speaking of thumb. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, well, this is a stupid, dumb movie idea that is actually happening. Mario Lopez, you might know him from Saved by the Belt uh, and uh, some entertainment show. Slater? Yeah, AC Slater. Yeah. Well, he's going to be playing Colonel Sanders in a KFC Lifetime original movie. You want to know the name of it? Sure. Oh, you do. can I? Yeah. K A C. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. damn it. A recipe for seduction. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Oh, this, I like uh, that. K I don't get KFC for whatever reason. Felt like they needed to dip into the uh, silver screen. Air, uh, category. So Slater, uh, what's a Mario? He's going to play Colonel Sanders, who uh, was a real guy who started KFC back in the day. Uh, yeah. He poster. This is my favorite thing. Uh, 
it says, we all have our secrets. Just happens to be a recipe, or his just happens to be a recipe for seduction. Oh, my God. So it's kind of got, like, porn vibes to it. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, Hallmark Channel is nothing but, like, softcore porn and then weird, like, abuse stories. It's weird. Always. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's the saddest channel on television. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. L- l- I should clarify, like, Lifetime, I think, is what you're thinking of. What did I say? Hallmark. That's, like, more Christmas oh, movies. Lifetime. Yeah. Sorry. Hallmark is, I mean, genuinely, you know, heartwarming. If right. Yeah. My God, how do I disparage the name Hallmark like that? However, the Lifetime channel. Yeah. Lifetime is like, fuck, bro. Oof. That is Good a... Stuff, uh, n- no, I wouldn't say that. Really? I can almost always get into one of those movies, no matter what point in the movie it is, because you know the lady had sex with a student, and now she wants to kill this another little girl or something. You know, it's always that, or the husband. So yeah, it's, it's like the husband is abusive or neglectful or uh, uh, like an alcoholic who needs help or something like that. You know what I mean? It's always, by the way, the yeah. guy is always the problem and the woman is always trying to fix him or, or needs to get away from him. He's either a monster or in disrepair. And that, like, they made a whole channel <laughs> off of those dudes. They're like, you know what? It's brilliant. Yeah, exactly. It'd be like if there was like Spike TV, if that still existed, their channel was just nothing but nagging wives and like porn stars. Like that would be the the inverse. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She's, la, 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 la. She's always just going on. Ugh, ugh. Football, wings, boobs. Yeah. La, 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 la. That was Spike's TV, Spike TV's business model. It kind of worked. It was the one show they had where it was like it was like a Japanese game show. That was the best show that? ever, of course. It was incre- incredible, hilarious. It was uh, what was it? Uh, Super Corn Freak One. Help us out with this because obviously we suck at naming shows. But uh, <laughs> old game shows. Yeah, it was like Max XC or something like that. Or yeah, something Extreme. Fuck, I don't know. That was amazing. But I'm not it saying was. Spike's TV, Spike TV's business model was that. I'm saying it would be. It's fine for Lifetime to have that business model, but it's not fine if Spike TV had that business model. You see the, you see what I'm saying here? I get you. I don't like I that. I get you. I don't like that. Well, speaking of men and thumbs and butts, let's get, let's get to the rectum riddle, shall we? You know what? We don't Please have. Do. We don't have a. Uh, I'm going to have to write this down. We need to get a graphic for the rectum riddle made. Oh. Do you want me just to do the thumb thing again for now? Kind of as a placeholder? Uh, Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. So right, give, me the, give me the screen. Give me the big screen. Okay, hold on. I'll Let me do this. Let me bring in the... Uh, let me bring in the audio. The uh, Let's see. Yes, here it is. Okay, and then I'll give you the screen. Are you ready? Yeah, man. Okay, let me go to the screen, and then... Oh, wait, 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 don't do it yet. Wait for your lower third to pop down. In three, two, one, go. Up my rectum. Guess what? Guess what's way up there. Way up there, baby. Oh, you'll never guess. You'll You'll never never guess. guess. So, I got a clue. Yes, I got a clue for you. Yeah. It's a riddle, baby. Life's biggest mystery, the unknown. And All right, there you go. The rectum riddle. Thank you, Pike. Appreciate the... <laughs> <laughs> Happy to play along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's silly. <clears throat> yeah, I'll make that graphic later on today. All right, like I said, I got two rectum riddles because the first one's a little depressing. But I do like the rhyme. Are you ready, Pike? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. I'm young and I'm strong. And when it comes... Oh, wait. I'm young and strong. And when it comes to my butt, there ain't nothing wrong. But hold on. Maybe I can no longer sing that song. Maybe 
you can blame them youngins wearing them thongs. Maybe it's them youngins smoking them bongs. Maybe they should get their head out of their ass because they don't have long. Tearing up your New York ass like if its name was Kong. <laughs> Nothing fancy going on. This mustard ain't Dijon. Young colon's getting cancer, working together like your rectum hired a tumor blank. Well, from what I gathered here, there's kids getting cancer. And, That's uh, what I said. Be, well, it's yeah. not, not really kids. I mean, they're young adults, but go ahead. I'll young tell adults. you this. Story. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Oh, so old enough, anyway. They're old enough to still feel bad, but okay. not, not as bad, I guess. Not as bad. <laughs> Uh, the well, worst I, thing I don't said. know. So we're looking for a one-word answer, or what? One-word answer. Young colon's getting cancer, working together, like yo rectum hired a tumor. It rhymes with Dijon. Oh, this mustard tumor. ain't nothing fancy going on. This mustard ain't Dijon. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> they say rap is hard. What are you talking about? Uh. Tumor. Poupon. You know what? That should have been the rhyme, but no, that is not it. It's not Poupon. And this one's pretty tough. This one is not easy by any means. No. Tu so tumor. Hmm. This is a doozy. Of a tumor. Are, are there any hints you could give me? Because I'm just thinking about those kids. Well, it's a... <laughs> I said it was sad. It's a, it says young colons getting cancer, working together like they hired. So who's a person you hire to do things for you? A butler? It rhymes with T Dijon. Starts with an L. Liaison? Yeah! yeah! That's it! Liaison! That's what the what? A tumor liaison. Can you break it down in like non riddle form? Like what's going on here? Yeah, so uh they did a study here pretty recent, and uh what they've discovered is that colon colon and rectal cancels are starting to go up in young people. Now why would that happen? Now still ninety percent of all cases are people over fifty, still. Okay, so okay. the majority. However, there is a been there's been a drastic spike. Normally, in your twenties and thirties, there's no chance of colon cancer. But now, all of a sudden, people are starting to get colon cancer in the twenties and thirties, and they don't know why. They're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Uh -huh. I think I know why, dude. I think I know why. What's your theory? I think young people don't like to take shits at work, and so what they do is they hold it all day. I'm serious. I'm serious. Think about it. You just get a job, right? You're out of college. You're in your 20s. And you're like, oh, man. Okay. Am I allowed to leave here? What do, can I, can, do I have to, how long do I got for lunch? How do I, what do I do here? Plus, you know, I mean, all these kids nowadays, they like their privacy. And by the way, when I say kids, I mean me. I don't like taking dumps at work. You know what I mean? I don't like going don't you in. you get comfortable? At a, at a point, though? No. No. Really? Oh, dude, I'm a private no. pooper, like, through and through. I used to be that way, but I've um, cured myself of that. And once you do, it's amazing to be able to just at work unload. Some guys get too comfortable with it. Everybody has that one guy that it just absolutely destroys the bathroom at work. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes him. I, know the guy. I don't know if I know the guy. I don't know. I mean, I definitely know that guy. Yeah. But that's the worst part. It's like if we have to go in and you have to pee and then you hear like you hear the shit coming out of people. It's the worst thing in the world. You're like, dude, I don't, I don't even know your middle name. And now I know what it sounds like when there's fecal matter coming out of your anus. You know what I mean? I don't know when your birthday is. Yeah. And I know what that sounds like. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. Like I... I Especially... You skip the intimacy part. You like, 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially if it's like a superior, uh, like some sort of management. It's real weird. Oh, But it kind of human, humanizes them a little bit. You know, you're not as intimidated next time you're sitting with them at a, at a meeting. No, oh, dude. This one guy I worked with, he had like the hairiest arms I've ever seen. Like Robin Williams' hairy ass arms. You know what I mean? Like disgusting. Oh, yeah. And then I went in one day to pee and he was taking a dump. And I swear to God, I swear to God, dude, it sounded like, you ever hear like a bear scrape tree bark? That's what it sounded like. It sounded like crackling coming out. And I was like, how hairy is this guy's ass? That it sounds like, dude, yes. Yes. Normally it's supposed to sound like someone's like, you know, coming out of a wet sleeping bag or something. But this one, (laughs) dude. Yes, this was oh, like, disgusting. it sounded like, yeah, there was hair in a garbage disposal and they're like trying to pull it out. Oh God. Oh, you got it. You just got to shave your ass. If, it if that's haunted you. me, dude. It haunted me. Oh God. It's haunting me. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen it when uh, they take fresh pasta and they put it through that thing and it's, it spins and like separate noodles comes out of it. It goes in one noodle and comes out like separate. You know what I'm saying? Like the the Play-Doh machine? Yeah, okay. You've ever had fresh pasta before? You know what I'm talking about? No. Never mind. Never I mind. can imagine what you're saying. It's like in the factory, like when they make it. No. You, you, people make people make fresh pasta, Pike. Have you ever made pasta yourself? I'm going to make it tonight. It's in the box <laughs> in the cupboard right now. No, it's not a box. A box is not fresh. You can make pasta yourself, Pike, okay? Why don't you send me that recipe? <laughs> it's flour. It's flour and water. What do you mean? <laughs> the fuck you mean it's flour and water? There's more to it. Than, there's got to be. <laughs> it's an egg, flour, and water. <clears throat> send me the recipe then. <clears throat> okay, I'll send you the recipe for noodles. Uh, Thank and you. then. <laughs> We gotta be a dick about it. We're not all Chef Boy RD, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you didn't know you're so advanced. I'm not advanced. It's pasta. It's like the wor- one of the world's oldest foods. What are you talking about? I know. I eat it often. <laughs> I don't make it. <laughs> why do you feel it's so cheap and easy to make? Why? Why do you feel like you have to make it from scratch? <laughs> It's better from scratch. You've never had fresh pasta. I feel bad now. I feel bad. You've never had fresh well, noodles? Not that fresh. <laughs> wow. I mean, they're not like they're not expired or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why don't you fly your ass down here and make me some spaghetti? <clears throat> All right. Sounds huh? good. Sparks? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Basically, this guy's ass hair was like a cheese grater. All right, so there you go. There's the first rectum riddle. Hopefully, they figure out why these uh, young guys are getting cancer. My son has popped his head into the door. One second, buddy, okay? One second. Thanks, buddy. Well, I'll be done in a second. We're almost done. Okay. Thanks, bud. Can you shut the door for me? Oh, Oh, money's talking. Okay. We'll sit in the chair in a second, okay? One sec. I'm almost done with the door. I mean, almost done with the show. Can you shut the door, please? Thanks, bud. Thank you. No, no, no. Cero puerta, porfa. Does he know how to make pasta? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, bud. Uh, Now he's sad. Now I feel like an awful father. Shit. What happened? (sighs) Sitting on the the rectum riddle. Nah, he just woke up. He's in his PJs and all this stuff. All right, let's get to the last one here so I can go back to being a father. All right, so here we go. Toro, Toro, Toro. The man yelled while the beast charged. Braced for impact, he hadn't felt anything this large. With a swift strike, it was opposite of like. The beast was done and had its fun. A show ender (laughs) and a rear now tender. If it had one, it would have dropped the mic. Doctors all befuddled while around his rectum they huddled. 
staring puzzled, no longer his to cuddle. Wait, what? <laughs> staring puzzled, no longer his to cuddle. Surgery, a service he knew was bound to be trouble. Oh my God. For a fighter, he had been taking it opposite of on the chin. <laughs> Damaged was the place he poops corn. Gross. <laughs> After it was punctured by an 11 and a half inch blank. Oh, God. What do you think? No. Give me the last, like, stanza <laughs> again. So I can damage, pick up the rhymes. Damage was the place he poops corn <laughs> after it was punctured by an 11 and a half inch. Poops corn. What rhymes with corn? Yeah. <sighs> Torn? Oh, no, come it's on. The it was punctured by something. Yeah. Okay. All right. Not corn. Uh, punch it. So it's an object. I was thinking an animal. Or is it an animal? No. Punctured. Yeah. By this. This object. Whatever yeah. it is. So it's not corn. Uh, not dorn. <laughs> not forn. Uh, 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 uh. What could puncture an anus? Is the question. All I think the question is things. actually. Guess what's up my rectum? Guess what? That's the question. <laughs> oh, that's right. Dude, I don't know. I'm out of. I'm out of. Oh, guesses. come on! It's puncture. It was uh, eleven and a half inch. This punctured this guy's rectum, and it rhymes with corn. I started the started off the riddle with Toro, Toro, Toro. Come on, man. Come on. I said he's a fighter. Oh, I know it. God damn. Yeah, he's a fighter. He's a bullfighter. It's a horn. Yeah. Horn. That's ah. right. All right. Now you're getting Owie. it. Now we. Yeah, Ooh, dude. That would. Can you imagine? Good Lord. This bullfighter. Oh, boy. Let me bring up the picture here. Uh, if you want to watch it, YouTube.com slash Sparks Radio. Oh my God! Just, just, I mean, deserved in my opinion. Uh, but oof, what a way the end of bullfight. Oh God, this guy, it went straight in there, dude, and it oh, no. does not look good. Yeah, it was pretty disgusting. You know, you'd almost rather have it go straight in, wouldn't you? Because if it was off just by an inch, now you're like tearing a new one. Well, yeah, Literally. that's what it. That's what it, that's what happened here. Here's the here's the bullfight. Oh, oh. All right, this bull obviously, and this is like uh, the bullfight. Look, he's got things hanging in his. He's got things in his. Uh, the bull's got things on a you know the spears or whatever in the side. It's just the worst thing ever. They got to get rid of that bullfighting nonsense. They're like, oh well, it's tradition. It's like. Yeah, well, there's a lot of traditions that uh, literally have died off. There was a tradition yeah. of sacrificing a virgin in a volcano. Kind of got rid of that one, too, didn't you? Yeah, we did. You know? It's like yeah, just, that, just... that defense is it, argument is garbage. It, me, it carries no weight. It, just because we always have done that. Yeah, I cannot believe I just watched that video of a man's anus being destroyed on this uh, podcast. Yeah. Well, that's what we're here for. All right. He's he survived. He got he had to get surgery, but yeah, dude, eleven and a half inch bullhorn You're straight into the. Uh, God. How do you say it? Guess what's way up there? Way up there, baby. Oh, you'll never guess. You'll, you'll never, never guess. guess. So I got a clue. Yes, I got a clue for you. Do the thumb thing. It's a riddle, do baby. Do the thumb. Yeah! Life's biggest mystery, Woo! the unknown aliens. All right, there you go. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. That was a, a full show today there, Pike. Full show. Excellent. I thought top to bottom, full. Chalk full. Topped off with a ripped up rectum. <laughs> that's, that's right. Exactly. Now, wouldn't it be nice if uh, we're going to sit here, we're going to do the plugs, and 
wouldn't it be nice if someone left us a review or a rating on however they're, you know, enjoying this program? You know, wouldn't that be nice, Pike? I think it would be nice. It's a it's something you don't have to do, but man, if it doesn't get appreciated every time. Like I like to do it if somebody really goes above and beyond. I'm getting my hair cut today. If this barber does a good job, you bet your ass I'm going to get on Google. I'm going to give him five stars. Really? Five? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, God. Wouldn't oh, it be God. nice if someone gave us five stars? Oh, my God. That'd be really amazing. Yeah, hey, yeah I would. You know what we have to do coming up here? We're going to do comment investing. So that's where we go through and we read the reviews from the committee. Or, and I should say, and or, we're also going to read the comments that you leave over there, youtube.com slash sparks radio we're gonna bring them up here on the show and we're gonna we're gonna say hey we want to invest in this comment or we want to divest from this kind of comment and i know what you're thinking oh they're only gonna read the good ones no because some of the bad ones are hilarious so we like to read all of them that's why we call it common investing so by all means subscribe over there on youtube leave us a comment and then of course uh you know drop us a rating a review on whatever platform you listen to the show on or watch the show or whatever you do just uh we love the interaction we love it so thank you so much and of course, one more day of the committee outros. We're looking for an outro for the show, so please send it in there. All social media at Pike Taylor. You can get them any way, any possible way. All right. I am at Sparks Radio on all social media. So hit me up. Send me a DM there with uh, your video, outro video. You've you saw some examples earlier on on the show, and then we'll leave it up to you. The committee will vote for who we think should. And the stupid thing we call the Sparks Show. That's it from us. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. Are you saluting? Oh, I'm saluting. Yep. Oh, I, I'm bringing uh, it back. Bring it back. Show your blood. Salute. He he bled oh, yeah. today. Look at that. Look at that. Still missing. Oh, there it is. Oh. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Very very bloody. <laughs>